Bon. After England defeated the French at the Battle of Brimule, Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. In 1120, his son and heir, William Adelin, died in a shipwreck. The future of Henry I's kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, Matilda. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their promise. England would not be ruled by a woman. Matilda's cousin, Stephen, saw his chance and claimed the throne. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king. But Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Their conflict engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities, Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle. But King Stephen was determined to take it back. He besieged the castle, stalemate. As dawn broke on February the 2nd, everything was about to change. Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy.
Robert defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. decimated King Stephen's reinforcements and were poised to break the siege. Continuing the push towards Lincoln, Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. To further weaken the siege, Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town.
Angeles, a large group of knights arrived at Lincoln to bolster Robert's army. With the market town in ruins, King Stephen's supplies began to dwindle. Robert received word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. But King Stephen had the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded, and the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Welshmen. Making their way to Lincoln, Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the King's soldiers. Robert's men would need to aid the Welsh if they wanted their help in breaking the siege. Forces on the road to Lincoln, Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. Robert's forces spotted a large detachment of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gates. If they hoped to liberate Lincoln, they would need to break the blockade and rout the army.
Robert's forces scattered the king's army, leaving the gates to the castle unguarded. Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. They could now use the castle to strengthen their army. To lift the siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle.
Easy to work at. Reaper Ravens are not 
Hestes comes sleepily on the stairs. Boom! Not eaten. What needed work at? That building will be reparailed and not. Matilda's forces struck hard, destroying one of King Stephen's siege camps. Stephen's army dwindled as Matilda's forces struck down another siege camp. Yes! 
And those who didn't fall fled. King Stephen was spotted, shielded by his men. To end the siege, Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army. Matilda's men closed in and finally captured King Stephen. Matilda's forces had won the battle at Lincoln. But the fight for the crown was not over yet. <laughs> 